Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And I am here today with a shortcut recipe for cinnamon rolls. And I'll make sure to link the recipe as well, of course, as well as the ingredients in the description box. So you, first thing you're gonna need are King's Hawaiian Original Sweet Rolls, just a package of those. You're also going to need some cinnamon and nutmeg. You're going to need some brown sugar. Wanted to share a quick tip with you guys. When I got ready to do this recipe, I realized that my brown sugar was rock hard. If that happens to you, just take out the amount of brown sugar that you need, dampen and put it in a like a glass bowl, dampen a paper towel, put it on top of the glass bowl and microwave it for about 15, 20 seconds and your brown sugar will be soft again. For the rest of the brown sugar that was left in the container, I just added some marshmallows and I'm going to close up the container. The next time I get ready to use my brown sugar, um, my brown sugar should be soft from the marshmallows. You're also going to need some butter, some powdered sugar, some cream cheese, and some whipping cream. So let me get everything set up and I will show, show you how to assemble the cinnamon rolls, so stay tuned. Okay, so to my mixing bowl, um, I'm going to add my butter. And what we're doing right now is making the filling for these yummy cinnamon rolls. So I have my butter, I'm gonna add in my brown sugar. And my cinnamon and nutmeg mixture. And you're just gonna cream all of it together. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but my um, butter and my cream cheese are room temperature. So it's really soft and easy to mix together. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of my butter mixture and I'm going to spread it on the bottom of this eight by eight little pan here. So, there's a couple of tablespoons here. Just gonna spread it around. And that's gonna keep everything from sticking. You guys, this smells so good. Um, this butter mixture would be good just on some biscuits or um, anything like that. Okay, I've got it spread around here. And now, I'm just gonna move this out of the way and show you guys the King's Hawaiian Rolls. So the package of Hawaiian Rolls came with 12, but I want, of course, the rolls to fit inside of my eight by eight pan. So I ended up just using nine of them. And I just took the rolls and I just cut, the, cut through them, excuse me, with a serrated knife so it'd be easier to cut through. And now all I'm going to do is just spread half of my butter mixture um, on the rolls, and then the other half of the butter mixture I'm just going to put on top of the rolls. So let me flip these over for you and take some of my butter mixture and just spread them here, just like that. And again, you're just gonna use about half And then I'm going to top it with the rolls again, or the top half of the rolls, I should say. And you're going to break them apart and you're just gonna place them in the pan, just like this. Now you could, if you wanted to, keep the rolls together, so not break them apart. But I want to make sure that I spread this butter mixture in between the rolls on the sides to get all of that yumminess in there. Yummy, yummy, so here they are. Now I'm gonna top it with the rest of this butter mixture here.
Okay, so here are the rolls. I am going to pop this in the oven. Once they come out, I will show you guys how to make the yummy cream cheese frosting. Okay, so I baked my cinnamon rolls for 15 minutes in a 350 degree oven and here they are. They smell so good. And as you can see, some of the brown sugar crystallized on top of the rolls. So they're actually, they're not super duper soft. Okay, they have to be able to stand up to this yummy, yummy cream cheese frosting that we're gonna add to it. So off camera, I mixed together my cream cheese, my whipping cream, and my powdered sugar, mixed it all together. So now what I'm gonna do is just spread these on these rolls. And um, I forgot to mention, when I took the rolls out of the oven, I did let them sit, or cool, I should say, for about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to spread this yummy cream cheese mixture on my rolls. Now, if you're a person that likes a lot of cream cheese or a lot of icing or frosting, you could of course uh, double the recipe and um, you know have more, but I'm just going to give like a, just a little smattering, if you will. And this is how much icing I have left in the bowl. So again, if you like a lot of icing, you could just, you know, put tons and tons. But I don't want a whole lot of icing. And um, like Howard and I can always go back and just add additional icing to each roll if we want to. But here is a finished product. Let me take one out and taste it for you guys. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Doesn't that look good? Here's what they look like. Have it on my plate there. Let me just open it so you guys can see how that yummy butter and cinnamon has just kind of sunken in there. Okay. So I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Not very pretty to eat on camera, but you guys, let me show you the bottom of this roll. Because I put the cinnamon butter mixture on the bottom of that pan, I got kind of crunchy and it's buttery. It doesn't even taste like a Hawaiian roll anymore. It really does taste like a cinnamon roll. These are absolutely, mmm, delicious. So good. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, I hope that you'll do so. See you guys next time.